Power e-commerce is a flexible online store that edits right in your live web page. Sell almost anything on any website in just a few minutes. Add unlimited photos and descriptions. Create options for size, style, color, or anything else with dynamic pricing structures. Make one-time sales or set up recurring subscriptions. Sell physical products or digital goods. And of course, customize any aspect of your store right in the live page with no code. To set up Power eCommerce, click on the Gears icon, which will open the Power Editor. In the first menu tab, you'll need to connect your PayPal account. Enter the email address you use for your PayPal account, so that you can receive payments when people buy your products. Next, let's head over to Content. Now here I have a pair of cool pants, but really I don't think they're that cool. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to enter a title for my new product, some other product, and a short description so that people know what to expect. You can enter almost any length of description and the details will pop up when shoppers click on the tab. There we go. You can also change the button text that's displayed in the button beneath your product. Buy now. Next up, I can select whether the product is in stock or not, whether it's a digital download, like a song or a file, and I can make it really, really wide if I want to, although for this case I'll keep it narrow. Now in the pricing, I'll set my base price. I don't want to sell something that expensive, so let's make it 25, and I'll charge some shipping and add some tax, because taxes are awesome. Now you can also use this to set up a subscription, but for my case, I'll just do a one-time purchase. How about some images? Now, these are all pants, and I don't want to sell pants. What else could I sell for $25? A bus, a landscape, my team, a hat! There's something. How about a hat? Now I'll just choose the picture, select image, and bingo, there's my hat. Now I'll add a few more images of the same hat, just in case people are confused about which hat we're really talking about here. There they are. And finally, options. Options are a great way to get more information about what exactly your shoppers want from your product. In my case, I'm going to sell different colors of hats. So how about a red hat? There we go. And a white hat. And a banana hat. And I'm also going to make the prices slightly different for each of these color options. For example, banana hats cost much less than other hats because no one wants them. Now I'll save my changes, and that product is set up. Now I can also go to the Design tab to change things about the way my plugin looks. Things like fonts, backgrounds, borders, the size of the plugin, but for now this looks good. And here's my plugin. There's my hat, there are some details, and if someone wants to check out, all they have to do is select their color, and it will automatically change the price depending on those pricing options. I'm going to choose the banana hat because I'm cheap. And here we go. There's my shipping and tax. And when I click this, I'm redirected to PayPal. And voila, I can check out.